probably am asked more than any other question, how did a, a young gal from Meridian, Mississippi, small town, went to a Southern college, end up in Hollywood, and end up with such a successful career? How do you do that? And you know, every time I'm asked that question, I realize that the answer is the University of Alabama. And it's funny when you look back on your life and you connect the dots and and what propels you forward in ways that you never even dreamed of or thought of. And it was being a cheerleader at the university that gave me the most unbelievable experiences and possibilities. I went to New York for the first time to cheer for the National Invitational Tournaments. I'd never been. The university took the cheerleaders and I got off the plane and <laughs> arrived in Manhattan to this world that I'd never seen in my life. No big city like that. Atlanta, biggest I'd ever seen. And I want to have to live here. I have to live in this place. And ironically, later, Jim Lampley's on the sidelines with ABC Sports, and he says, what, what females, cheerleaders, are in the School of Communications? And I went, well, I am. Of course, he meant broadcasting. <laughs> and I was majoring in advertising. And he said, well, you know, I, I think... It'd be really interesting if you could be one of the people we're going to interview for the sideline commentating position, color commentating for a college-age female on the sidelines to do cute stories and things. I went, well, great. Let, let me try. And he came, sent someone down, a producer, and I filmed these little stand-up pieces like how Alabama got its name and its mascot and the whole thing. And then they, they went back to New York and said, Whew, well, that's kind of interesting. Let's, let's go back. And now let's put her in front of the camera, have her watch a basketball game, and summarize the game at the end. So the young producer's sitting next to me, and I'm watching the basketball game, and I'm looking down there going, gosh, the cheerleaders are so cute. And I'm not writing anything on the legal pad, because I don't know what to write on the legal pad, because football I understand, but basketball, I love it, but... Couldn't tell you who was a forward or a guard, but just cheered my little heart out. So at the end, I got to summarize this game. And I can't because I have no clue what I'm supposed to be saying. So needless to say, I didn't get that job. But what I did get was this exposure of being in front of a camera and going, I, this is fun. I, I think I like this. And I end up moving to New York. And I end up drawing up storyboards from my art background in Alabama and advertising. And then somebody said I was making like $6 an hour and said, you should model. I said, well, how much do they make? They said 100 an hour. I went, oh, my God. And so I meet Wilhelmina. I end up modeling. I end up doing TV commercials. And then everything snowballed. And I end up going to Los Angeles. But if I had not been at the university, I could have been anywhere else but it had to be the University of Alabama at that point in time with Bear Bryant as our coach. And we were number one all the time, as we usually are. It was, it was just beyond exciting and serendipitous and such a gift to me as a young woman. So I have a lot of gratitude for the University of Alabama and the School of Communications, <laughs> even though it wasn't the part of the school Jim Lampley and ABC wanted. It was a great experience. I, I, am, I wouldn't take being in Alabama for anything in the world.